And a warm welcome. Our venue for this game is the Emirates Stadium in North London. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and England defender, Lee Dixon. And what better way to ring in the new year than with live football? It's Arsenal facing Manchester City. Well, Happy New Year to you, Derek, and everybody else out there. I'm pretty sure the players will have had an early night. Looking forward to a really good, festive game of football. And so the starting eleven for Arsenal. Thomas Partey starts with Granit Xhaka in the centre of the pitch. And the starting role in attack is handed to Alex Lacazette. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Well, as a team, they do have their stylistic preference and it really is all about trying to put the opposition under pressure, making sure that they don't compose themselves. Lee, do you expect to see more of that in this game? Yeah, pretty much. They love to press high, don't they? It's their preferred style of play, winning the ball high up the pitch. It certainly benefits their strikers. They're very good at it. And so the battle commences. Oh, nice ball. It might be on for them. Tremendous challenge. Gundogan. Well, they could run onto it here. De Bruyne and a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened it's a promising City move possession seeded by City here Saka De Bruyne De Bruyne, Joao Cancelo, Gundogan, Mares, Granit Xhaka, Thomas. Mares. De Bruyne. Now Gundogan. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. And he's won the ball. Thomas. Partey. Granit Xhaka. Arsenal's free kick here. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Partey. Now Lacazette. It did look on for them, but not to be. Bernardo Silva. Nathan Ake here. Foden. De Bruyne. Sterling has it, 
and space to cross it and a throw in it's going to be Gabriel far from a good pass and Bernardo Silva has it Foden still looking for space Gundogan Bernardo Silva here's De Bruyne Foden firing it towards goal but it can't get all the way through Bernardo Silva making excellent progress with the ball at his feet Lacazette Jacka with it now Lacazette using all his defensive acumen to cut it out well City controlling the lion's share of possession but that doesn't lead to goals necessarily they haven't created enough too slow up front midfield very average the coach he's not happy at all he wants more from this team able to get his body in the way the first half here comes to an end Back underway then. Well, managers earn their corn at half-time more than any other time. They need to shake both sets of players up. There's a lethargy in this game that needs to change. Still passing it around with authority. Ake. Gundogan. Sterling has it. Bernardo Silva space and time for the cross the high press was on and the chance is on potential opportunity for Manchester City to take the lead corner kick it is a change in the offing for City Put in by De Bruyne, and there it is, the breakthrough, that will do nicely. Well, here's the replay, and it's a dangerous set piece into the box, and what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the goalkeeper absolutely no chance. Fantastic goal. Well, he's every right to be angry. The players are not executing his game plan today. One nil then. Manchester City goal, number six, Nathan Ake. Martin Odegaard. Granit Xhaka it's with Gabriel Lacazette Arsenal pushing forward with options available and 30 minutes left for play in this match in by Sterling it comes to absolutely nothing
Well, that's one for them to pursue. And failed to keep himself onside, unfortunately. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Lacazette. Possession given away, unfortunately. Sterling. And that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick. Nicola Pepe. Thomas. Martin Odegaard. Possession and patience, the watchwords. It's with Odegaard. Tierney. He has time to play it over. Timing was perfect. Ball one. And very deftly cut out. The clock is against Arsenal, but what can they pull out of the fire here? Well, they can say a big thank you to the goalkeeper. That was inspirational. Well, that's as good as a goal at the other end. Brilliant save from the keeper. Corner kick played in. And did his job defensively. Now the attack promising as it was. Scuppered there. With their noses in front in the second half. What will be the thinking in the camp, Lee Dixon? The City players have to focus on not making any mistakes in order to protect this slender lead. If a bit of magic from the opposition gets them back in it, there's little you can do about that. Arsenal's free kick here. Here it is now, a substitution. Inside the final two minutes of this contest. Mares. Now this is far from over, we're going to have five minutes of stoppage time. An encouraging Arsenal move. Martin Odegaard. Losing possession. And he keeps going. Joao Cancelo. Gabriel Jesus now. Now the attack fizzled out. Good vision. Can he get onto this? 
Lacazette. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. So the referee's whistle means full time, and it goes into the books as a defeat for Arsenal. Lee, your thoughts? Well, the body language is there for all to see. Fine lines between success and failure in this game we all love. Not today for them, but I'm sure they'll bounce back next time out. And he put in a really thorough performance tonight, Lee. He's always a man to watch for the opposition, but they couldn't keep tabs on him in that vital moment when he grabbed that goal.